Yo everybody, welcome to my third match of the Faction Tournament Duel. Today I will be fighting Zorg Z, but also in game known as Shorling. This is my last match for the from the three Shadow Fans. Basically, in the tournament I have to fight three Shadow Fan players, three Winter Pack players, and three Swarm players. And well, let's see how far I can get against this guy. I have uh, not so much hope to beat him because his deck is really, really good against mine. Let's also play, give him a thumbs up and the wave. So basically you can see my deck list on the video. And um, what he is playing is Broad Sages, Azure Hatches, Conflicted Drake, Reign of Frogs, Execution, Snow Masons, Obsidian Butchers, Soul Crushers, Blood Ministers, Call for Eight, Curse of Strings, and Crazy Bombers. So basically, he is late game orientated. So I try, I will try to win in the early uh, game. I think that's my best option. Uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, really afraid to use Siege Assembly because this guy has Execution. So it will just kill him and he has one mana uh, more efficient than me. Which is a bad thing. Well, what I said, I think we need to be aggressive. So let's push my guy forward, let him deal with it. He doesn't have any toxic sacrifice, so that wasn't around that one. What I'm most afraid of is the Broad Sages, which is just super good. It's like two mana for three strength. That's just insane on level one. And he also has soul crushes, which you just seen. I think this guy is also pretty good. So we have some uh, difficulties dealing with that one. Let's deal with this for now. Let's go forward, we'll go there. I need to deal with this at least three damage. So that's super annoying as well. Otherwise his effect will trigger once again. So I'm already a bit scared for that outcome. Yes, I wanted to have a bit more movement forward. Uh, compared to his deck, I also run Siege Breakers. He doesn't play a building at all, which doesn't uh, make this deck card worth anything unless four strength for four mana without a movement, which isn't great. And what I'm really, really, really scared for is obviously the blood ministers. I think it converts two or three strength minions. Well, ironclad is one of the factions that a lot of weaker minions on the board. Yeah, basically he cannot deal with this, so he will get another two value out of it, which is really annoying. This doesn't help either. This one is pretty good. But not happy with it. And Arm Schemers will be a, a really great target for Curse of Strings. Right, I have to make a move right now. I'm really afraid of using this card. Because this one can be easily targeted for blood ministers. So, uh, yeah, basically everything in his deck will counter mine. And Obsidian Butchers is strong. He also used Snow Masons, which is really good. Because it is a lot of nice synergy 
with his soul crushers to make him even stronger so I can deal even with bigger units completely and well as you can see he can basically deal with my board already and as long well, as the game progresses any further it will become just even worse because his crazy bombers will outfail you my deck completely yeah see well it is a bad convert for him but I think it's still super strong in the end I think I want to leave armed schemers for the next turn to have even a bigger combo otherwise I also want to soak up a lot of damage from these guys so I need to deal with it this is a one strength don't want to have any one strength on the board but on this level it's just really hard not to have it Nee. It's at least 10 strength. He hasn't played any of his execution, so he might be cycling it because it isn't the best card, but it's super good against my siege assembly. So I'm a bit scary, scared of using this one, but it's next turn he also has 9 mana, so if I play it on my baseline. He can just crazy bomber it and everything dies. Obsidian oh, Butcher's incoming, I guess. Oh, not even. Yeah, this is a weird combination, I think. Because he has Snow, Mason, Snow Masons and Rain of Frogs. But it's good, obviously, that it buffs his units. But it's also a bad thing because you don't want your units to uh, get more than one strength. I guess for now I'm not sure what I need to do I'm super scared don't think sound drivers there's a lot of value well this is a really good card it deals with a lot of them and oh, let's clear it up for as good as possible. My this is you can just crazy bomber here and deal seven damage. I don't know. I think uh, for now it goes fine. But just think about if he had another blood ministers, all these cards would be converted. It's a huge risk I'm taking at the moment. Well, nice play. Triggering it like that. Pretty smart move. I don't have any dragons or spare dragonlings. It's not worth a lot. I really think about destructor bots, summon militia and debug loggers. A lot of pressure on his front line. Yeah, let's first do this one. Yes, it was a hope for. I don't want any two strength minions from my, of, of my own because he still haven't at played his obsidian butchers. And it basically deals two damage or is worth two strength when it triggers. But he also has call for eight, right? So ah, I'm not sure. Let's see. He will definitely be able to clear this with his crazy bombers, curse of strings. Even curse of strings is already really good on level one because it's dealing 4 damage to my debug loggers and also converts them so he gets 8 strength for just 1 mm, 
just way too expensive way too expensive yeah this will be sucky for his obsidian butchers i need to play this i think that's the only thing does make sense i think i will play it with siege breakers in combination and then i will just think at that point i'm dead let's already give a handshake yeah, I already lost. He will just. Well, I'm, he can still recycle it, right? So I can be really lucky. I'm not lucky. So. Yes, that's it. I think this is the game. It's like overvaluing me already. He has seven more mana. All his cards are worth more than mine. Look right here, right? I have a nice precision right here. So that's funny. I will recycle finite loopers because it's just three strengths. Or should I be really ballsy? No. Oh, it's all dragons. Yeah, oh, fuck. I'm not even thinking anymore. Uh, it was a really worth play. Yeah. Don't encounter a lot of dragons. I'm not thinking clearly anymore. Should have played sound drivers. He will convert it. Let's just finish the game. Let me die real quick. Already knew when I saw his deck list. This really, really strong deck list. Oh, this isn't doing anything. This is the only thing I can do, right? Put so much pressure on his base, but I can never win because I don't have any two movement cards and I will just die from this. He can deal with his nine or doesn't, doesn't matter. It's just too late. Yeah, Curse of Strings, seven mana, 14 value. Call for eight. Yeah, just, it's so hard to deal with this guy with his broad stages that just outvalue you for a good one. He played his conflicted drakes really well as well. Execution counters my structure. So I was taking a huge gamble playing that one. Snow Masons is a really good card. Soul Crushers, insane. Blood Miners is also insane. So I have a bit of luck or luck. I can su survive for a bit. Seven. 9, 11, let's recycle this one because it's shit. Oh, this will at least uh, gives me one more turn, which is gonna be amazing. This deals two, which is pretty good. Yeah, he will uh, blood minister this run. Makes a big unit right here. Kills this one. GG. At least I did two damage on his base. He can also uh, has his obsidian butchers right now, right? Just finish it off. Gains three. Becomes five strength in total. Uh, really uh, well crafted deck for Shirling 
and also playing it very well. I think the only chance I had is if he had really bad draws, couldn't play his cards right. I think it's smart, just play safe. Why should he rush? rush? It's like nothing I can do. He just he doesn't even play copper skin rangers. I think that might still also be a good card, copper skin rangers, including this one. But he doesn't need it. Let's recycle this guy. I think this might be good. I cannot play this and oh well let's just do this survive a bit longer doesn't matter much oh, it's really nice that I get another arm schemers survive fiving longer than I anticipated yeah, I think if he did not have any uh, execution I might have played it if I was lucky enough and played my cards really well. I might have able to win with Siege Assembly by just uh, trying to let that card stay alive, counter his late game with multiple of Siege Assemblies shooting everything every turn. I think that will be really a uh, fun match to see. <clears throat> I think that uh, like he's outvaluing me, but I have every turn three random damage. See, even now he just plays it well. It's like nothing I can do when someone plays it, plays his card like this. I think golems doesn't do shit. This one doesn't even do shit. It's hoping for conflicted drakes maybe. Not sure. So this is 12. This is 14. Let's kill this one. So I can arm schemers. Well, at least he cannot deal with this one. Might have been playing it right here. Not sure. This can soak it up. At least if you played another card behind it, it shoots another folly. And I always have like Beast of Terror in my hand or a zero movement that I can place in, in front of it. It's a really strong card. Yeah, didn't. And I started creating a deck. I didn't look at Snow Masons. But at level 1, it's really strong, right? For 4 mana, you have 6 strength. Like a percentage of 150. Let's see. Well, I at least get one of my uh, follies off. Which is fun. I need to deal with this. Which is shitty. So basically this doesn't do anything. So let's recycle that one. This is four. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Doesn't matter much if I killed that one. It would have been better. But then his Obsidian Butcher is 
could walk more easily inside my base. And now he has at least, I'm stalling for one turn, or not even, execution. Well played, mister. Well played, Obsidian Butchers, the finisher from Shadowfen that just recently was added by uh, the Stormbound team. Finishing me off. This is my defeat, so it's my first one as well. I think Zork or uh, Shorling had really well crafted deck, which is really, really strong. Maybe I was a bit salty during the match because I was saying I couldn't win. But hey, here are the results. I think it was a very realistic uh, view of how our match would turn out. And well, the only thing that would let me win was if he was playing bad and he didn't. He played his cards very well. He knew what he was doing. I even liked his conflicted, conflicted Drake's combos and he played his uh, executions well and the Scourge of Strings. And uh, the nice one was also a nice touch with using execution to free up a spot for his Obsidian Butchers. So I think it's, uh, well, if you are just a really uh, great player, playing a great deck that counters my deck, then uh, he did a great job. So well played to him. Hope he will uh, beat some other guys as well in the tournament. So I was not the only one uh, who didn't win against him. I think he will uh, do it very well, especially with this deck. And uh, well, hopefully for myself, the next match will be uh, less, uh, less counter. That I just have a bit more of an, uh, yeah, basically I want my Siege Assembly to shine and plays with execution, make it really hard for me to deal with that. So what I also was thinking, if I can do a deck change, was switching up my Siege Assembly for a True Shot post, which has one more HP, or one more strength. So an execution won't kill it, in, won't kill it directly. And maybe I need to think about a bit more an expensive deck, because my mana curve is quite low and while well, playing against these kind of decks and maybe my next opponents will have similar mana curve decks where it's just really hard for me to win and I don't need to survive the early game uh, so I can replace some of those cards for a bit more value cards and uh, hold up uh, hold off my ground against them so well that was it for today at least for this match hope you enjoyed it and uh, learned from it how you can craft a well yeah how you can craft a really good shadow fan deck in my opinion i think this if i would play a shadow fan deck i won't change much of his deck list so it's always easy to say right but i think his deck list is really good. At least the ones that I've seen from the Shadowfan faction, this one uh, makes complete sense and is utilizing a lot of value from the cards they have. So thank you guys for watching and see you in my next tournament from the faction match or just another video I uploaded. Thank you guys for watching. Later!